You might have caught my recent video on plugins and the official native script plugins. If you haven't, I'll link it down below. Check it out. Now, besides the official native script plugins, which are maybe 20 or so, there's actually a list that the technical steering committee for native script they maintain a list on one of the blog posts, and it's this one right here, nativescript.org slash blog slash nativescript-7 dash compatible plugins. So these are plugins that have been known to be updated to nativescript 7 and work with nativescript 7. So this is a list that has been submitted. There's over 90 comments here. By the time you watch this, there might be over 90 comments. And uh, yeah, this just contains not only the list of plugins that are NativeScript 7 compatible from the official NativeScript repository on plugins, but also community plugins here as well. So if we take a look here, you have all NativeScript UI material plugins, um, NativeScript community drawing pad, animated circle, app availability, background HTTP, camera, email. I'm just picking these randomly. I'm not reading every single one, but I'm showing you that there's quite a few here that have been updated to NativeScript 7. Social share, theme, zip, checkbox, exoplayer, exoplayer, that's a pretty good one, plays videos. Pull to refresh, root detection, ugh, NativeScript audio, auth0, carousel, gif, insomnia, and uh, video player, and Clippa NativeScript login, Clippa NativeScript HTTP. By the way, I've been using Clippa NativeScript HTTP, a very good plugin for HTTP replacement of the module that's built in. If you're interested in me covering any of these plugins in a video here, let me know down below. And also, let me know if you like that new wall art right there. It's not so new anymore, but how does it compare with this one? This is the old one, HighScript native logo. I mean, I still like this logo. I have the t-shirt, but I decided to try something new up there. Let me know what you think. Also, make sure you bookmark this blog post and reference it once in a while when you're taking a look at the most up-to-date NativeScript 7 plugins. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Like the video if this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.